guys what's up it's 412 sports cards here today back with another video and like i said i'm going to be coming at you with one a buy sell hold today patrick mahomes so i was inspired by a viewer shout out sunnyside sports and more uh, to make this week's video on patrick mahomes and while i'm not an active football investor uh, that much i have a little bit um that doesn't mean i don't track the market and it doesn't mean i don't regret the fact that i don't have any mahomes in my collection um, and I'm going to apply my sports card knowledge here for you guys to decipher the current state of the Mahomes market and the cases for buying, selling, and holding. Now, I'm sorry the video got a little delayed. I um, wanted to wait for that Chiefs game to play out on Sunday. Obviously, Mahomes did get a concussion. They, they won. It's likely he's going to play this weekend. So I don't think that game is going to be big, was a big factor for prices, um, as we kind of saw. And we'll get into it recommendation I have for you today. Um, I think there are strong cases for buying and selling, uh, hold, eh, but personally believe in the sell case. Um, I'm going to be outlining the thesis behind all three points though, so we'll get right into it. Uh, the buy case. Um, the buy thesis is obviously supported by the fact that Patrick Mahomes is in the middle of a playoff run and stands as the Super Bowl favorite. Um, obviously, this bakes in enormous risk, right? If if they don't win the conference championship at the very least, I think the cards could get hit hard. And it's hard to say what would happen if they don't win the Super Bowl. That said, we all remember last year where Patrick Mahomes' cards went down after winning a Super Bowl. So should be smart and keep that in, in your mind. Um, that said, the ability to add a second Super Bowl to his resume at age 25 is huge. You might see sort of a LeBron effect almost. It might be best to buy after a Super Bowl win. Um, just the idea you know, we remember how lebron cards tanked hard following the the finals win this year and then they are skyrocketing right now i think you could see something similar with mahomes i do think buying is not a bad idea for him um and he's the future of the league right he has so much higher chances to continue getting wins and super bowl chances than any other young qb um deshaun watson's great has a terrible situation and even if he's traded he won't be an immediate super bowl contender um and unlike Lamar, he's had playoff success. And, I mean, it makes him an intriguing option when you see guys like uh, like here, like Tom Brady, starting to hang up the hat. Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees. The old guard is getting old. Um, I guess that's the way the phrase goes. Um, but they could be out. And once they're out, the keys are definitely turned over to Mahomes. He already is the darling of the NFL. But... I think once you see Brady, Breeze, and Rodgers leave, yeah, it's just more attention on Mahomes. But anyways, that is just, here, let me get the camera working a little better. And yeah, so that's kind of the midterm thesis on Mahomes. But what would I be buying? And I rarely say this. I rarely, rarely do. If you watch my videos, you know I don't like to do this. But I'd be buying the Prism PSA 10. Um, the base has a silver finish, which I think is good for collectability. Um, I think that's definitely helps prop it up a little bit even though it is the base it's a nice looking base card no doubt and it's a tough grade um i believe i've seen i used to watch a lot of elite co 3 videos he had a lot of dimples that he would see surface dimples on those cards keeps them from a 10 for sure um the pop is low as a result we're seeing 850 psa 10s um over 1700 on the psa 9 and considering it's a card that's been out for a number of years um, Mahomes has been in the limelight. I don't see a reason why that pop would be jumping a lot. Uh, also, I just don't think they were making a ton of 2017 Prism football. Um, they, football especially hadn't caught in massive heat by that point. Uh, that said, PSA 10 sitting at 9,200. PSA 9 sitting at 2,200. Now, if you're still with me in this video, I'd really appreciate it if you wouldn't mind dropping a like, dropping a sub. Um, it really means a lot to me. It really helps keep my channel going. And I would really appreciate any, any and all of you who would do that. Also, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about my thoughts. The case for hold, I don't have much to say here. Um, it's just kind of wait and see if he wins the Super Bowl, maybe. I mean, if you have Mahomes, holding not a bad idea, right? I do think these cards have room, have room to grow. He's got the hobby hype machine, at least in football, behind him. Um, but I do think the cases for buying and selling have pretty strong theses, so I don't know there's as much of a... A point to be made for what is the market really saying to us right now um, and just tougher to see I think it's pretty clear-cut and 
I have strong conviction. I know many of you don't want to hear it. I, a lot of people don't like to hear people talking about carb prices going down or carb prices not performing as much as they maybe people think they will. But I do have a strong case for the sell. Um, this is it. I have a couple. I think I have three points in this one. The football market itself is a little scary. It seems to be. Excuse me. It seems to be able to only carry a couple young names at premium prices, right? I know Mahomes has achieved a lot more than any other young quarterback, no doubt. Deshaun Watson right now, though, sitting at 900 bucks for his 2017 Prism PSA 10. Same set, just as tough to grade. That's one-tenth of the Mahomes. And it's probably warranted right now. I mean, it is fair that Mahomes trades up on Watson a ton. He's had a lot more uh, success, won MVP and a Super Bowl. But those even those Watsons were actually even $600 before these recent trade rumors, which is like over 15x that the Mahomes was trading over the Watson. It's a little insane. You don't see that type of stuff in basketball. Um, you don't see the top guy trading up over the second, the top guy that high. And it makes me just concerned that shouldn't Mahomes be sidelined with injury or have an off year, that they might, the hobby might rotate money into another guy. There's much less money in football, clearly, than in basketball. And I think that means that a fall from grace, money transitions out of your cards fast, out of this one player faster. You get that gap between Mahomes and Watson is really telling to me. And I think it really speaks to the, the fact the football market is not as moneyed as the basketball market. Um, it's, it's a big deal. Building off this, I just don't see that the football market is going to have the same money influx that the basketball market's been enjoying. So football market had huge tight hype in 2020, right? Cards shot up in August. We saw some position players get hot, crash down. Some quarterbacks, Kyler Murray even, hot, crash. Um, cards, most of these guys aren't even up to their August levels yet. Um, and I think it was just a bunch of speculative guys who were looking at football. And it could be for whatever reason, but it's clear that people didn't want to keep the money in football. The money rotated out fast. It could be risk of injury. It could be the fact there aren't that many games in the season. But honestly, it doesn't matter what it is. I think we saw the proof of concept that football just isn't going to get the same amount of money being poured in that basketball is. And um, from this modern investor, and that's a big deal um, when you're looking at how far these cards have room to grow. The amount of new money coming in is what's pushing prices right now. Uh, there's no denying that. This is the biggest point of my video to you guys today. And it's the multiples not making sense. This is why I love to study. The multiples at which players trade at compared to other players. I don't have a Bowman Chrome, so I'll just show off this upper deck. But 2000 Bowman Chrome Tom Brady rookie card PSA 10 it sells for $9,300. It's practically the same price as the Mahomes. Pop, uh, 1,050. That's enough said. It's practically the same prop, pop, same price. You can get Brady or you can get Mahomes. Now, okay, I know we're going to say the BGS does have a ton of pop probably for the Brady just because it was a 2,000 card, but how can you justify Brady and Mahomes at the same price point? I just, I just don't get it. I know Mahomes has a lot of his career ahead, but like you can say that about anyone. And Brady is literally the GOAT. He's the best to ever do it at the quarterback position, certainly the most winningest. The argument that he has a lot of his career left to add accolades doesn't really work when you're comparing it to the person who's accumulated the most accolades ever over their career. Um, it's just insane to me that... You would have to be a fool, I feel like, to buy Mahomes over Brady at the same price. Uh, plain and simple. And that's why I um that's what's pushing the sell case for Mahomes. And Aaron Rodgers, tops Chrome rookie, PSA ten goes for fifty six hundred. That's after a doubling. Still like half of the Mahomes. Drew Brees, rookie refractor, PSA ten, out of nine ninety nine, so it's numbered. Went for about sixty five hundred in its last sale. I know he hasn't had as many rings, but these are great quarterbacks and Brady's selling at Mahomes prices. These other guys are selling at a discount to Mahomes. I just can't justify spending that much money on Mahomes, and that's why I would push a sell case to rotate that money into more established QBs. I think the market will get rational eventually and reward you for it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did, leave a like, um, leave a comment, and I'll catch you next time.